Welcome to the AACS Daily News for June 2nd, 2016. Attleboro High School junior Jacob Vieira recently came to the rescue of a diner at Bliss Dairy. Jacob is an employee at the restaurant and he came to the aid of a choking senior during one of his shifts. He said that his previous years of safety training kicked in and we spoke with him to learn more. My name is Jacob Vieira. I'm a junior at Attleboro High School. I'm a gymnast along with a lacrosse player. Um, a couple years ago, I became a lifeguard through the Attleboro Y, and I worked there for about two years. Um, during that time, I learned how to do CPR, first aid, emergency oxygen, and currently I, I work at Bliss. I've been working there for about a year now. Um, last Sunday, when I was on my shift, I was serving somebody's ice cream when somebody called from behind me, um, is there a doctor in here? Uh, so initially, I turned around, you know, trying to figure out what was going on. Um, everybody in the restaurant was kind of frozen, wasn't really sure what to do. And what was happening was um, an older lady and her husband, uh, about a section away from me, um, the man was, the fellow was uh, choking. His wife was behind him trying to do abdominal thrusts. So when I turned around, she had done about three to four thrusts on him with little success. So initially, um, I didn't really think about it, um, which is kind of a good thing, I guess. Um, so I just kind of ran over there. Um, a gentleman said, you know, let him help, let him help. So I got behind him, um, and I just kind of remembered the training and everything that I had learned a couple years ago. Got my hand in the right position, right where the belly button is, and I actually did one thrust. Um, I got my hands kind of under his ribs, so I applied, you know, good pressure, good spot, and the food actually came up on the first thrust. Um, after that, um, the man was very thankful. Um, he was a little shocked. So I was just making sure he was breathing well, he was okay. His wife was very thankful. Both of them were very nice. Um, the restaurant started to clap. One of our uh, students, Jacob Vieira, who um, was uh, very heroic uh, this past weekend, uh, I believe it was Sunday, at Bliss. And uh, when, I, when I heard the news, um, obviously I was relieved that um, everyone was safe, but it came as absolutely no surprise that it was Jacob. He's one of our best. He's one of the cream of the crop. He's uh, a fantastic student, um, but he's so well-rounded. Um, he participates in athletics. He went to a Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Conference a year or so ago, came back, had some wonderful ideas that have uh, really benefited the school. And um, he was also recently selected for, um, for Boys State. So, you know, the fact that, uh, that he's a leader um, was evidenced on Sunday as well when there was a situation uh, where obviously there was a lot of tension and a lot of angst and he just responded appropriately immediately. You know, people, they should really invest in knowing CPR and how to do abdominal thrusts. You know, you never really think you're going to need it, but obviously, you know, that's not always necessarily true. And I think it's kind of, um, it's kind of sad to see how many people don't know that stuff because, I mean, Classes are relatively cheap, they're quick, and it's easy to learn. Um, and if more people knew how to do it, it would be you know, a much safer environment. I mean, I was kind of thinking about it. I was in a restaurant of maybe 70, 60 to 70 people, and the fact that only like a 17-year-old kid kind of knew what to do, I was you know, a little offset by that. Anytime that we can encourage our students to participate in any sort of training like that, whether it be through the YMCA or um, any of these other outlets that, that uh, potentially offer training for life-saving strategies, we encourage our students to participate. My parents, um, I've grown up in a really good household and they've just taught me to always go out of, way, go out of my way and help people. Um, I've always wanted to serve my country and I've always seen just the benefits of being able to help people. And you know, now that I've had that experience to help somebody and actually make a difference in somebody's life, it was really rewarding, but it also, you know, kind of gave me a perspective of a whole new job, like, you know, job field that I might even be interested in because to be able to do that on a daily would be something like incredible. That's it for today's update. For Double ACS News, I'm Austin Ricketts.